Thank you, Ms. Michaela, for joining us. So, could you tell us what's the current situation for renewable energy development in Mexico? Thank you for this opportunity. And I may say that uh, it's a very important market in Mexico. Uh, there is a lot of room to develop new energies in Mexico, especially for SMEs. The problem is that the government doesn't have uh, the will to make it so openly because they have a lot of uh, subsidies in energy production and distribution in Mexico. Okay, so but what, can, what roles can SMEs play for the development of renewable energies? Actually, a very important one because since they are smaller companies, they have a lot of uh, ratio of influence throughout mm -hmm. Mexico. There are a lot of uh, isolated communities in Mexico which need obviously clean energy sources or they need them because they cannot bring the, the, the normal regular uh, power by the, by the government mm -hmm. and so on. These SMEs companies can actually contribute to these, uh, I mean, to communities at all in Mexico. But I mean, conversely they must also face some challenges, so what Absolutely. challenges? I may say that the challenges, uh, first of all, is a change in the paradigm of the people in Mexico because they are so used to only connect, you know, mm -hmm. to the regular grid of the power There's and no correct Question. and to make awareness that the clean energies are needed and required and that they are cheaper in the long term. It's uh, it's mm -hmm. very difficult to change the paradigm. In addition, uh, many of these SMEs companies don't have the, the support of the government, so they're on their own. Uh -huh. That's difficult. Yes, I can imagine. So, what is your overall impression um, of this symposium on the coexistence of nature, economy, society for sustainable economic development? Actually, it's very important. It's very interesting. It's I'm glad to be here mm -hmm. and with a lot of a lot of uh, ex alumni of the SEP program for all the world. And I may say that uh, the subject or the topic of the symposium is very positive and. For example, in the case of Mexico and in many other countries, it's required that these new paradigms take into, uh, to be taken into consideration. And moreover, in line with the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development, it's needed a change. I mean, according to the main objectives that they, uh, they, they uh, published after this meeting, they need to, to do something. A change is needed. And I think that this forum, this symposium, is a very positive opportunity to start thinking and changing paradigms. As a first step. Yes. Thank sure. you very much for joining us. My pleasure.